Hi all. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to use the glyphs. Those are the extras that come with some of the fonts that you're downloading to your computer. You can't just uh, access all of them at because um, they are hidden. They're a per, they're a private use area, and you need to have Babel Map or an, or a character map or another program that will open those glyphs where you can copy and paste them into. Uh, so I'm just design. on Inkscape right now, and I've clicked on the text little icon so that I can start typing uh, the word that I want. So I'm just going to type uh, anti crafty and it's not in the right font that I want. I'm going to, for this demonstration, I'm going to use the Samantha font only because it comes with some great glyphs and I know it's a popular font. So I'm going to go up and we're going to go to our uh, font area, font choice area. And then I'm going to keep scrolling down. I have tons and tons and tons of fonts, so it's going to take me a while to scroll down into it because it has to update every time I scroll down. So, so I'm just going to look for Samantha in here. Come on, scroll back up. So here it is here. So I'm going to choose Samantha, and it's changed it for me. I'm just going to enlarge this for you so you can see what I'm doing here. So this is... Samantha upright. This is what comes with, I'm just going to fix the typo in here. Um, so this is what it looks like and uh, I want an extra fancy Y and I want an extra fancy C in here. So what I need to do is I need to open my program called Babel Map and I've installed it on my computer and it's just down here uh, I've put it to my little quick bar so I can open it quickly. So I'm just going to click on it and uh, run it. It'll it'll give me that warning every time I go to run it. So this is what it is. So I normally, when it opens up, it'll open up to the last font that I used. Um, and for this demonstration, I've already preset it. So it's already in Samantha. So as you can see here, this has already been chosen Samantha. If it hadn't been, I can I can just open up the area to choose the font that I want and go up and down through my list of fonts that are installed on my computer um, and do it that way. So normally when you first open it up, it will look like this. It'll just open up to a random beginning area of the font. So uh, it's just base, your basic Latin, or it's the default when you open it up. So what we need to do is, because this is just the regular font that comes, the regular um, strokes and, and text that comes with the font, we want all those extra fancy ones. And this is where you're going to find it. So you're going to go down to here. And you're going to scroll down until you find private use area. That is the extras. That's where you're going to find all those glyphs and all those extras and flourishes and all those fancy scrolls. So I'm going to click on private use and there we go. Any font that has uh, extra glyphs, nine times out of ten it's going to be found in the private use area and that's what you have to go to. So this is all the extras um, that comes with Samantha font. I can quickly scroll down and see that there are a ton of them she has added so many extras, uh, it's just incredible. So let's just pretend that we're going to go to, oh, I'm going to scroll back because I lost that. Sorry about that. Hold on one second. I'm going to scroll back until I get to private use area. Private use area. So I want to scroll down to the C area and find a C that I really like. So if I hover over it, and right click it'll bring it up larger for me so I can really see what that C is going to look like. I like that C. So I'm going to double click it and down below you're going to see that it's highlighted in this buffer area. So I'm going to or it's showing it so I'm just going to run my mouse over it, right click and hit copy. I'm going to minimize this screen not close it. I'm just going to minimize it going to go back to my Inkscape and I'm going to highlight the C that's there and I'm going to control V which is paste so I'm going to control V it in I'm going to paste it in so that's what it's looking like um, and anytime I want to go back to say I want to let's get a Y let's find the Y's 
I'm going to add the Y on the end of that other one. So I like, oh, I like that Y. So I'm going to double click that one and I'm going to, again, highlight and copy it from there. I'm going to minimize the Babel screen. I'm going to move over to here and I'm going to paste that Y in. Now that Y is kind of big for that area. So I'm like, uh, no, I don't want to do that one. So I'm going to delete it. So let's go back to our Babel map. Those were capital Y's, it looks like. And I want the, the small Y. So I'm going to scroll down until I find a small Y. As you can see, there's tons and tons and tons with this one. I like that Y. That's a good Y. So let's copy that one. We're going to copy. And we're going to paste. There we go. Just size this for you. So there we go. Um, this is how you do it. This is where you find the glyphs. In the Samantha private use area, there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of extra fancy. Uh, you can do catchwords. Um, all these are beautiful for you know different applications, obviously. Um, and then you've got your extra flourishes all the extras that she gives you in this font. Uh, this font is only $17. It's American, yes. Uh, you're going to go to the Mighty Deals website and uh, you're going to use the code uh, cats who code at C-A-T-S-W-H-O-C-O-D-E. That will give you a 10% discount. Uh, for the Samantha font um, and this is how you're going to get into those extras. So now I've got uh, any, you know, whatever I want fancy. So now I have uh, anti crafty in fancy. I like the way it looks and I can go ahead and save that as a an, S, an SVG or I can actually export it as a ping um, which is uh, a clear background and I can insert it into any photo I want. Um, if that's the way I, I choose to do it, and um, then I'm good to go. And anytime you have a font that you've purchased and you want the extra glyphs for it, that's exactly how you find it. You can use your, your Babel map, um, which is, uh, there's a website you can go down to, to you can Google it and, and find the, I'll provide the link for Babel map download inside the video uh, underneath in, in the, um, the notes area for you. Um, so you can just go right to it. I'm also going to provide the link to uh, the Mighty Deals website where you can go and purchase your Samantha font as well. And I'll put that in the notes area as well just so that you have it. Um, happy crafting and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.